Stop it. Just scare me. Okay. We, said, <laughs> we gave you the I first five handle, minutes. I, I'm already too scared. <laughs> I don't need to. It was very traumatizing. Like, this is way better, more traumatizing and horrific than Serbian You film. guys have been mm-hmm. trying to get me, like, you guys have been trying to get me to watch Serbian film, film forever, and I said no, no, mm-hmm. and then you slipped this under the radar. Yep. Now, I feel like now you can watch Serbian film after this. I guess yeah. so. You've earned your, um... We call it, you know, like you've earned your right to watch Serbian like, film. This yeah. is a rite of passage. It's like your yeah. red stripes. I've been inoculated. Yeah. <laughs> your red stripes? Like yeah. your beers? I think it's earning your red wings. Oh, red <laughs> wings. <laughs> Unless you're dating a girl who sh- sh- sharts blood. Oh. <laughs> this is off to a good one. All right. Well, fellas, how we doing? You know, I'm, I don't know if I would be the same after this. Mm-hmm. You can't. You can never go back to living life. Yeah. Normally. Yeah. Let's. Uh, so. So today, guys, we're talking about one that's uh, pretty controversial. Oh my god. I don't think I can sleep. <clears throat> yeah, it fucked me up real bad. I watched Necromantic to get over <laughs> watching this movie. Yep. The Pope <laughs> keeps he tapes. This is a, this is an exciting one. Number one, we've never done a found found footage film. No, this is the first one that we've done on No More Popcorn. Yeah. That's part of how you you sold it to us. <laughs> yes, I I intentionally yeah. wanted to watch this one with you guys. Uh, it's been sitting on my shelf. I've watched this one twice now, and um, I really wanted you guys to witness it so we we could discuss it. Yeah, because yeah. of all the things I've heard about it. Now, I just want to take a moment. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll kind of say. What our feelings were, you know, brief descriptions of, of how we felt about this. We can also talk about some reviews that we've read about it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So let's see here. Went and took my son to see this movie and it scared him so bad his balls dropped. That's scary. That's scary for both parties. What's it say, Patrick? I can't believe my butthole's never been tighter before. Mm. Mm. That's right. mm. Mm. That was a butthole pucker one, too. Yeah. Yeah, buttholes have puckered. <laughs> my fiance and I watched this movie. I vomited into her mouth, and she vomited back out into my mouth. And. Poughkeepsie tapes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, tapes. yeah, wow. guys. Th- I mean, this is underselling it, as far as I'm concerned. There's so many tapes. They ha- there was so many tapes. Yeah, now that's a fucking movie collection. Look at all the tapes. Look at that. It's so long. <laughs> years and years of such horror, mm-hmm. such degradation. Yeah. He really should have archived it better. He should have done like a DVD kind of. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It definitely holds more. I, I think it's got to be hard to remember, like what's on tape two thousand two hundred and twenty-five. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean? A little, like a little, a sticker system or something would have worked. Yeah. Maybe I'm like sure a little shark at the end. Got like a book. Maybe some terrible yeah, of what what he did in those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he wasn't gonna leave everything behind for the. Cops. He uses a Dewey Decimal system. Yeah, to <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this his closet. One's, this one's got the balloon torture. You look it up <laughs> by the number. Mm-hmm. Terrifying, yeah. Guys, I've been I've been sober for almost three months now, and I have a feeling I'm about to get real fucked up. <laughs> oh God, I'm about to relapse. Poughkeepsie tapes, my friends, sucks. <laughs> and the sucks reason ass. the reason I wanted to talk about this movie, you know, we were actually discussing it before we did this, and I I was like, I'm going to commit fucking movie choice suicide. Yeah. Because we, you know, if you think about it, you know, we only get to pick about, you know, about one movie a month, a piece. So we yeah. get, we really get about twelve choices, you know. Yeah. 
per year, and this was this was the one I chose because I wanted the opportunity to have our voices heard on something that now granted when, when this was first coming around and it first got its blu-ray release everyone was like oh my god i'm so excited and it seems to be one of those movies that the hype it got before anyone had seen it superseded the film by so fucking much and now we're left with a goddamn release that everyone pre-ordered including my dumbass. okay i, I <laughs> sold you man. i bit all over this shit it i was like i'm you. fucking getting it yeah and the surprised. movie sucks and the people that <laughs> su- marketing department yes the yeah, people that's... that say that it doesn't fucking suck are the people who don't want to feel like they wasted their fucking money <laughs> right. and we're here to talk about that I'm i so, feel like this is fucking yeah. important I'm, I'm sorry i'm very surprised mgn back this I like feel like there's got to be many, many them. MGM movies that we could drop right now that, you know. I mean, but there's so many more good ones. Like, why why this one? You're right. Yeah. This is like... Maybe that's why they did it. We, we're MGM. Many good movies. They can do a battle. <laughs> this movie is like Neil Breen went to film school. <laughs> and, this, and this is what <laughs> he built up to. And he made this yeah. fake documentary... Now, I have to mention this really quick, just because you said Neil Brain. Have you guys seen mm-hmm. that he is selling his complete uh, discography on, on a, disc? I think I think it's a two-disc set, two or three-disc set, something like that, yeah. and it comes with some kind of extras about like the making of the movies? These Blu-ray or DVDs? No, these are DVDs. <laughs> I, want it. I don't think you do. Oh no! This is this is legit, by the way. This is no yeah. kidding. Get take take some little wild guess what it's going to cost. Five hundred dollars. Well, you're overshooting there. But... Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going about a one fifty range. Okay, one sixty. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I ain't paying. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't either. Anyway, that was just a good good yeah. chance to to slip that in there. Um, just y- just guys, get your YouTube downloader program. Mm-hmm. Just download it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought this movie. I asked you at the beginning, is this supposed to be funny? Mm-hmm. It, I think it's supposed to be serious, but it's just so bad it's, it's terribly funny. done. Yeah. Now I want to go ahead and say yeah. this too. While we're on this, is because the the you know before we started this, we were on our phones. We're like, we're gonna look up legitimate reviews, and we're gonna laugh at like the serious ones. It just seems like people have caught on to the fact, for the most part, that this is not that great of a movie, thankfully. Oh, let me read. One yeah, there are still you. some. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, this is by Alan Renald. Title, it is scary. Some <laughs> people will like this movie. That's a five-star <laughs> review. <laughs> That's a five-star <laughs> review. <laughs> um, this is a five-star <laughs> review in Spanish. Uh, title is tra- uh, Trey to Discos Uno Blu-ray E. Outro DVD. Yeah. Wayne Cerviso Lego Un Dia Antes de De Lo Acordado E C <laughs> Se Mira Muy Bien in 1080p, which I think translate to It's awesome that it's in 1080p. Get a beer. I thought you said I you said Cerveza. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Haven't watched it again because I'm too scared. Hoping to rope a friend or two into watching it so we can trauma- traumatize them too. 31 people found this helpful. Yeah. They hadn't watched it yet. There's no way. Now here's the thing. I do think it's fair to bring up the fact that um, and I'm being nice right now. I'm being generous with saying this. This is you know, not necessarily my personal thoughts about the movie. I'm just trying to be generous. So I guess if you're not really into the horror realm of things, then there might be some disturbing elements to this movie. My big problem with it is, is I think that this reminds me of what a 14 year old would be like, Ooh, that's, that's creepy. You know, lots of like, just, you know, we'll have a person crawling. That's creepy. Screams. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll have, you know, torture. And it's all these scenes that, Yes, it does allude to some creepy stuff. There's some stuff in here that alludes to, like, you know, kidnapping of young children and and rape and assault and stuff like that. And I know this is going to sound terrible, but it just... It it doesn't follow through. No. And it it doesn't even allude it in a way that I found to be scary or or even remotely 
creepy. I I just I I could not get into it. The whole at beginning, all. the beginning of this whole thing is so it's like this is like a what like Dateline or some shit. It's like a TV documentary about mm-hmm. these tapes that were found and this this serial killer. And the whole beginning section is everybody just being like. Like there's a guy that he's like supposed to be working at the the fucking FBI or whatever. He's like, I watched every tape. <laughs> I couldn't sleep for a year. My wife watched it and she wouldn't let me touch her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All this like overselling. I bet, she, Everybody... I bet she didn't fucking touch him because he brought home, you know, this movie. Or something. <laughs> yeah. it's like, like, God damn, this sucks. All these different people, these, these, you know, police people and all this shit just like. You you don't you don't know what you're ready for. Yeah, you you don't you don't know. You just don't know. That's another thing too is they introduce so many characters like that. So so that is the kind of the way our film is is we have the people, you know, from the news stations and from the police department, from the fucking autopsy people, and then we're intermixing it with with footage from like, you know, these these tapes, the Poughkeepsie my, tapes. My, There's just yeah. so many people though. My favorite cop that was being interviewed was while he was doing a barbecue. Yeah, with a little charbroil yeah. grill. It was like, yeah, it was bad. Family eating behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they asked one question. Yeah, it was bad. And then that was it. Nothing yeah. else from that guy. <laughs> do you guys... Do you, now, let, let me ask you that. Do you guys like uh, found footage films? Uh, I love... Uh, I mean, it's not a horror... Well, it kind of is horror. I love Cloverfield. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah, yeah that's a good movie. one. See, I'm a sucker for him. I don't, Quarantine. I don't think I've really found or watched a lot of... Well... <laughs> Sadly, I watched Chernobyl Diaries. That was kind of set up like a found footage thing. Which one did you say? Quarantine. Quarantine? Yeah. As above, so below? Did you guys like that? Good. Yeah. I haven't watched that one. Yeah, it's good. That's one of my favorites. I like it. From the filmmakers who brought you Quarantine and As Above, So Below what? comes a descent into twisted crimes of a serial killer. This is after that? Yeah, like the costume designer is somehow linked. Are you sure? Are you reading that right? It this says it. Very first right film? there, right underneath. Oh my god! Right underneath Ooh. this scared my boobs into. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I love I love found footage movies. I love both of those that were just mentioned. I do I do like Wreck better than Quarantine, but it's unnecessary remake. Whatever, still a good movie. Um, I I, I don't I can't really t- say what differentiates this that much aside from it just doesn't seem like they tried. It just seems like really cheap attempts. It seems like really stupid decisions. Like I don't think they were worried so much necessarily about a, a very good story or very good acting or delivery as much yeah. as they were interested in like it almost seems like they had ideas for creepy imagery and they wanted to put it in the movie no matter what like yeah it, but this that to, will build around it yeah that yeah. to me seems like all it was uh and that's what i was starting to say i do get like if you're not really into horror movies some of this stuff might be you know for those reasons i said earlier you know kidnapping kids and stuff that stuff's hard and yeah there's scenes of like moderate torture and stuff like that in it so either we are extremely desensitized mm. and fucked which you know no. I, I do think that we are but i don't think this, no, not with that. I don't think this is a good template for why we are. I just think this is bad execution. So when I looking at this movie, I was thinking about when I'm reading fiction and like say there's a main character that and this is something I have thought about a lot because I've tried to write fiction and it's very difficult, but think about the idea of okay, this main character, let's say you wanted to write a main character that was a genius, somebody that's very smart. Mm-hmm. You know, you they're they're very clever. They're doing all these things. They're very complex. Okay. Don't you have to be a little bit of a genius to really write something that is a character that is a genius? Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like these people really wanted to do something. They were really pushing hard to create because this whole time they're pushing this idea that this killer is like, he's so fucking smart. He's brilliant. He's got all these, he does all these different things that he throws them off the trail constantly. And he just looks like a crazy idiot. And and, and it's like, you are not smart enough to make the movie that you're trying to make. Correct. They don't make something stupider and, and funnier and even more gory. But what they were trying to do, they just could not do. Yeah. No, I 100% agree. I mean, uh, that in itself, you know, you see a lot whenever uh, there's a lot of like explanation, like you said. It's it, it was reminded me of the of the uh, the colonel, you know, in Rambo. Oh, you know, whenever he's talking about Rambo, you yeah. know, you've got like the one guy <laughs> yeah, in this one yeah, talking yeah. about like, you know, after you see this 
three of you won't come back. <laughs> this is the most heinous stuff you've ever seen. You know, and it's kind of like when the colonel, you know, talking about Rambo. He's a fucking killing machine. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So you got this kind of talk. And the thing is, is like they'll explain that, like you said, about how smart he is, about how fucking like, you know, maniacal and shit he is. But they never once, in my in my opinion, give us a good display of it. It's always we even have line deliveries in this where it's saying, uh, "What was it?" He says on one part, he, he the, one of the doctors is explaining. He's like, "There was an extreme amount of genital mutilation and stuff," and then he says, "And some things there was electrocution. I just can't yeah. even." talk about it's too hard to, it's too much to bring up that dude looked like fucking dracula man yeah yeah he wasn't a reliable source at all i don't think um what about day long was it day long was his name the asian oh doctor? my god that had to be that had to be fake i mean there's just no i well i i feel like half of these people in this movie were like the dude's friends I oh it has yeah. to be I mean, yeah they, yeah for sure I mean, a lot of the casting, did they, people didn't look right as far as their role went. Like the guy that was watching all the tapes that was supposed to be, and then there was a guy that was the, he was the dismemberment expert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That guy that's on the inside those. fucking, on the reverse God. side of the thing, standing standing in front of all the saws. He's talking about, he kept changing saws so we could never figure he out He would who never was. use an actual saw. So other serial killers <laughs> don't do this. That's why we couldn't catch him. Yeah. Because he because, changed. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah, he changed. He saw. had a really, yeah. a really effective saw, but then he didn't. He used a, a, a jagged bone saw. You know Whatever. something? Th- this has like a feeling of like when, when these doctors and FBI agents and all that good stuff are being interviewed. I, it it re- it looks like someone walked into someone's office. And they're sitting there, you know, smoking a cigarette and like, okay, read lines five through twenty, you know. And they're they're like, yeah. <clears throat> um. The saw was, and it it looks yeah. like they just did these they these did people these and just whim. kept them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, do we have to? Add, we're not going to ask anybody. We're just going to keep what we got yeah. and we're going to throw it into the fucking movie. It's like, well, yeah, and it's like, well, they're not really acting characters. They're just they're just reading a line. They're playing yeah. somebody that's in a documentary that's just talking about something, so it doesn't have to sound believable at all. They'll be happy to be in the movie. <laughs> 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 They'll be happy. <laughs> You know, God, I, I just I want to go back to the fucking the killer. I thought sometimes he could have been kind of funny, like early on. He the main the main girl. What's her name? Dempsey something Dempsey. Cheryl. Cheryl. Sherry. Cheryl. Sharon. Sh- Sh- Shannon. Shiskowski. Sh- she's like when he first gets her and she's like tied up, like kind of hog tied on a table, and he like creeps in the room. And he's standing behind her, and he just goes like, <laughs> and then he backs away. And I was like, "Is it's like some like Jim Carrey shit?" Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. so weird. Like when he's feeding the baby bird. Mm-hmm. Why am I standing up here? I, <laughs> uh, I was ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like well, that was kind of. I was like, okay, that's weird. He did some weird stuff, like when he had her by the the head at one point, and he was like. Yeah, it was like like he was gonna smash her face with his the palm of his hand, and he was just holding her and like yelling at her and shit. I don't know, but I I didn't get I didn't get genius serial killer. I just got fucking crazy weirdo. Yeah, it kind of reminds me too of like something that would here here's a good way maybe to like explain how I felt about the scenes that were supposed to be creepy. You know how they put all that like. I'm going to sound like an old guy when I say this, but they put all that, like, oddball humor shit on, like, you know, adult swim and stuff. Yeah. And it's just all these weird... Ooh, I have meatballs for eyes! Oh, like this the, is so the, weird! Cuckoo! Oh, the Tim and, and Eric Awesome show? Yeah, fuck yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. It just, it reminds, <laughs> it reminds me of that, where it's like, this isn't... I don't know. I mean, I guess it's funny to, if you're, like, fucking 12 and staying up till 10. You know what I mean? I guess it's kind of funny, but... I, 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 some of the reviews that people were giving were saying like I can't believe people watch this as if it's not intentionally a comedy. I'm sorry, this is not fucking intentionally a comedy. No, there's, there's no, no, there's way. no, there's absolutely no size that. Oh yeah, man, they really got me when they were kidnapping that little girl <laughs> off the front yard, and it was really funny when he came crawling in. It's not funny intentionally. Yeah, like, but that's a, that, that's the problem. You can't get creeped out by the things that may be creepier in mm-hmm. another movie because of all the other shit is so 
awkwardly done and just sometimes funny. The delivery is just so funny mm. that you're, you're, you're kind of chuckling along. Hey, look at this stupid shit. And yeah. then you see him like, you know, stab a girl in the neck. You know, even that was dumb. He creeps up and stabs her in the neck with his like needle fingers. Yeah. Or but when she's, you know, she's taped over, over her mouth and mm-hmm. blood's coming out. That's, that was pretty, that could have been a good scene. Mm-hmm. The way she was dying with the blood behind the tape over her mouth oh, gushing didn't, out. Didn't like how he but, walked in, did you? Yeah, and he, he walked in with the the face on the top of his head. And his leotard. And... But, I mean, there are parts that could be creepy, but you just can't get into it because everything else is so stupid. Yeah. 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 It's it's like, you know, when you have the scenes, uh, you know, he, he's basically, he, he's infatuated with this one character, the Cheryl, the Shanowski woman or whatever we decided to call her. And, you know, the torture scene, she's, she's chained up down there. He's got her calling him uh, master, and she's the slave. And she's clearly going through a lot of, like, psychological uh, trauma and stuff like that. And it it's like, even with that, I mean, that's fucked up stuff. I've seen that stuff in movies, and it works. It's very effective. And it's like, fuck, you know. And you're supposed to watch something like that, and you're supposed to feel sick. Mm. That's the thing. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but if you're suppo- if you're going to watch something like that, it's supposed to make you feel repulsed yeah. and you it, it, and, you and just laugh gross. It. Yeah, and it just doesn't fucking deliver because every time he comes in, she's hanging my chains, and he goes into fucking Shakespeare. You know what I mean? He starts like <laughs> dancing around and stuff and doing all these weird little. Ma- I just, fuck this movie, man. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. It's really stupid. This is right up there yeah. with August Underground. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna throw myself. Why are you on doing this, to us, man? Why, Why are you doing this? Oh God, damn. That's what we're doing here in a few I weeks. Mean, I mean, we were supposed to have redemption after <laughs> yes, fucking there has Robo to be a War. Thing. <laughs> this is. A, I think this is a better conversation. I wanted. To, I wanted to do this one so that we could have a conversation. Yeah, because I know, I know. found. I fo- oh, I know. Found footage <laughs> movies, though. I think they get a bad rap, and it's because of uh, pieces of shit like this. And and the more I'm talking about that, the more I get that. Found footage is not a very good genre, but guys, I like it. I like guys, it. Guys, the movie I want to do is found footage. <laughs> Remember? No, see, I don't. I don't <laughs> like that oh, one. It is? Yeah. You oh. want to do that one? The one what, what are we doing? Oh, I think you're. T- oh, it's called Fear Footage. No, I'm sorry, the movie I want to make. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the movie we're Yeah. Yeah. See, now I, I like found footage. We'll just make it better than this. Yeah. Oh, definitely. definitely. Um. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I yeah, mm-hmm. and, and let's let's go ahead and take just a moment to mm-hmm. to talk about the video. We'll just say quality. Number one, oh, yeah. this looks cheap yeah. in almost every single way imaginable. The the and I'm sure it was. This has got to be an extremely low budget movie, but you know the the scenes with the interviews of people. That stuff looks just about as as fake and plastic as it possibly can. Uh, it looks like they're trying to make it crisp. And I honestly, as much as I detested the grainy, wavy look that they were going like, for with, with, with the camcorder it was too overly done sure. it, yes. it, it looked it literally Warbly. looked like one of those uh i can still go back to like my old vhs tapes that was like recording me doing gymnastics and shit and it does never does that Mm-mm. at all yeah. i mean i know what they're yeah. going for you yeah. can see it yeah. on taste but not to you that degree if you doing gymnastics yeah mm. oh we gotta see some of that you gotta show us that okay i'll make that another one of my picks um no so they they choose you know whenever the guy's walking around with the camera and everything and i know what it is number one is to cover up their low budget which is fine you're supposed to use techniques like that for Mm -hmm. it but not to the extent that they did and number two they were using it in my opinion they were using it to try to like make it more creepy to make it more effective like he was trying to do like some rob zombie 70s type stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, i mean to me it literally just looked like a 90s grunge video and the fucking it, it just psh, psh, yeah the, weird like the ch- channel change yeah. static that was louder than everything else every time i'm just like getting more and more irritated yeah and using it, it for like weird <laughs> cuts i mean yeah. they you really know, like... yeah they should have just fucking i mean Make it black and white or something. Uh, just make it a little bit more grainy. But yeah. the way they were doing it, it just made it look even worse. It didn't. It looked. It didn't look like old VHS. It just looked fake cheap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just didn't it look, look terrible. No, absolutely. And I mean, it's kind of weird too because you've got. You know, and I'm only bringing this up. Uh, you know, I'm not like a fucking helicopter guy. I don't, I don't know like how much flying around one of those costs. But you have those aerial shots. You know, at the beginning. 
Like when the credits are rolling and stuff, and yeah. I almost wonder if they're like, we got it. Yeah, it's like the rest production. is a cakewalk. Production value. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, look at, look the, at this. those were probably the most expensive shots. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They wasted yeah. they wasted it all on yeah. that, and, and the fucking the dude with the with the saws in front of him. Yeah, <laughs> he had to get paid more than anyone because he, he you know I'm he had to bring these saws from home. I mean, yeah, and it's they a had lot to, of work. They had to buy that guy an actual fucking grill so yeah. he could. Ah, uh, god damn. I okay. Um, score time. Yeah, because all I'm gonna do is sit here and and, and I'm just gonna keep bitching. I don't I don't I, recommend I, this. I mean, one. get What's, it all out. I, I gotta ask, how yeah. much did you spend on this movie? Mm. Wouldn't you want to know? <laughs> that's, no, I'm that's kidding. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, it was not expensive. Okay. Uh, you know, and even then, uh, like I said, with all the hype that was going on behind it, like when I ordered, I hit up a couple of my friends that are really into horror and stuff like that. And they're like, mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's so fucking awesome. I'm jealous, bro. Don't be, please yeah. don't be like, this is, you know, yeah. When I first watched it, I watched it by myself and I did it right. Okay. When you watch a found footage film, I think the best way to do it, a by yourself, yep. B lights off, let it, you put a little blankie over your head. Yeah. You know, let it, so let blanket. it do its thing. I feel like a lot of these, you have to do it the right way in order for it to be effective. I really do. I've watched, you know, quite a few of them that, that I would never, you know, t- show you guys that I liked or anything because I know that it won't, it won't work well in a Did group you have setting. some rubbing alcohol and bleach with you too? Mm, no, I didn't have any of that, oh. but uh, I watched it like that. And I was like, man, this, this is really disappointing. I, and I was like, well, maybe I'm just not feeling it. So I watched it with, with a good buddy of ours and I was like, do you get it? And he's like, no, I don't get it. And this is now my third viewing. And and I'm t- this is the funnest I've had with it. Oh, yeah. Because because now it's solidified that I don't like it. <laughs> like you were doubting yourself. I was doubting, doubting myself. Your sanity. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, well, no. maybe it's me, not the movie. You know? No, man. Uh, you, know, you know your shit. No, it's yeah. the movie. I mean, you know, you got, you know your shit outside of Gozu. Outside mm-hmm. of that. And, <laughs> and Dead or Alive. Mm-hmm. But, you know, generally you know your shit. You know? Yeah. You know shit. Mm. Well, I don't know about any of that, but I do know, I do know that uh, I'm I'm going. Uh, I'm going to go with a one, one bucket of popcorn for Poughkeepsie tapes. The only reason I am giving a one, and this is really short and sweet, is just because I guess if I was like new to horror and had never watched anything that was considered to be slightly extreme or hardcore, then maybe it, it would creep me out. I honestly think realistically, if I was younger and watching it alone at night. It would probably be pretty effective. If for anything else, like the moralistic reason, you know, with, with kidnapping and, you know, dungeon shit going on in your basement. <laughs> oh, God damn. How much we change as life goes on. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go with the one. That this that's a big crock shit. <laughs> Patrick, what do you got? I'm gonna have to give it a one two, and the only thing that's wait saved what a one, as well a one two a one two three one two three four. Well, which one is it? A one. <laughs> because the only thing that saved it was watching it with you guys. Yeah, is it's just funny. It is not scary or creepy at all. Mm-hmm. That's it. It was just fun to make fun of it. That's the only reason why I'm giving it a one. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I would go. I'd bump it up a little bit. I give it a one and a half mm-hmm. because of the. It, it, you did get some laughs from how stupid it was, and that in itself is does add some entertainment. Uh, you know, at least it wasn't completely boring. Uh, so, yeah, it's. Don't don't watch it, just don't. Unless you're just some sort of fucking found footage, yeah. Trust, completionist or trust some shit. the other Amazon reviews that give it one and two stars. Fucking trust yeah. our review. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We know what we're talking about, people. Yeah. <laughs> We've been doing this like a year. Yeah, we do. We do this for you to protect you. Uh, yeah, if you think about it, today we we all threw ourselves on a grenade for the people. Yeah. yeah, I mean we're a couple of years late. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. the one thing we already seen it. But. I just remembered the the son of the one dude that was convicted and died of a or got executed because he was 
mm-hmm. they thought he was the murderer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, turns out it wasn't him, but fucking 9 11 happened. 9 <laughs> 11. I noticed that when it was like September 9th, 2001. I was like, huh? Yep. 9 11 overshadowed his dad's yeah. innocence in now, the newspaper. Everybody still thinks he's the killer. Ruined it in my life. Thanks a lot, 9 11. <laughs> I like to believe that that's the actual filmmakers. <laughs> they, they were like, why do we have to drop right around 9-11, you know? Uh, now, that doesn't make any sense, unless they knew it was going to happen. What if What if the actual inside job... Did Bin Laden fund this movie? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to say that they're like, oh, why do we have oh. to drop our movie on the same day that the World Trade Center is going to get <laughs> fucked up? <laughs> Oh, like they they were yeah they were part of the inside media. job yeah. yeah yeah they timed it wrong they were in with the with the the Mossad and oh god and the bushes to, to... now that'd be a documentary I'd like yeah. to watch yeah you know the failing Loose of change, of the Poughkeepsie days <laughs> watch that's what we're watching next week. <laughs> You guys want to know about molten steel? <laughs> we can just superimpose an image of him in the in the fucking bird mask, it's like <laughs> flying into the fucking towers. <laughs> oh, that's the way it really happened. Jeez. Well, guys, uh, next week I'm bringing the ultimate good bad action movie. That's what Hollywood. We are going to watch a Ugandan action film. Oh, it is going to be fuck yeah. a goddamn blast. Awesome. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. I think that should be a review on the back of the yeah. box. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like nothing you've ever seen. So. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, man. All right. Uh... Oh, congrats to those winners, by the way. Yeah, that was fun. Did you guys engage at all? No, I, I noticed you had some people commented saying that they emailed you. I didn't know mm-hmm. if you did we it had, through we had, our we did email a giveaway. Or your personal email. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, like and subscribe to the shot. Yeah. We might yeah. do another one. Yeah, we might do another one. I wanted to keep doing more when we make fun of movies too. I think I, yeah, yeah, this yeah. one this was fun. Got there. <laughs> got to let some hate out. Bad movie, <laughs> fun review time. Mm-hmm. You know, just get a little bit of the frustrations out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thanks, COVID. Yeah. COVID. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>